Hey guys, Mark Michelle here from Scale the Summit. Just wanted to put together a quick video to showcase my newest addition to the base family, which is this custom shop base that Warwick just finished building for me. It is a Warwick thumb base model, neck through version six string. And I'd like to first off thank Warwick for their incredible work on this instrument. It's everything I've ever wanted in a bass, hands down. Plays great, sounds great, feels great. And I was excited to be able to use all of my favorite looking woods in one bass. So really happy with how it came out visually as well. So a little bit about the specs. I went with a one inch California Buckeye Burl top for the top wood. And I was really excited about the piece they chose. It's a little lighter than most normal burl pieces. Normally burl has the kind of even mix between the darker and lighter elements. A little more like down here, here and up here. But the lighter piece actually kind of makes some of the more intermittent dark spots really pop and stand out visually. So really excited on kind of the unique piece there. I chose a tiger stripe ebony fingerboard. And I requested a piece that was as two-tone as possible between the lighter and darker colors. And that kind of splits right down the middle. So very cool looking as well. Went with a solid wingay neck. I believe it's five laminations. Always love the kind of chocolatey color of wingay. And I went with a mahogany body. I've had mahogany bodies on previous bases and always took note of how acoustically resonant they were simply when playing unplugged, dry playing. So I wanted to have that here on this base as well as that could only mean great things when going through the pickups. For the headstock, matching headstock as well, California Buckeye Burl, same as the top wood. And for the base finish, I went with a high gloss finish which is not normally on most Warwick bases, but I wanted something that was extremely resilient and tough to the elements of the road. Uh, the standard thumb base I've played before to the production model just had a natural oil finish, and I was always a little paranoid of um, its vulnerability to dings and all the sweat. So I wanted something really tough and a really strong defense against that stuff. For the hardware, I went with Schaller machine heads for the tuners and uh, the standard two-piece Warwick bridge that comes on all bases and MEC preamps of the same pots uh, knobs that are on those as well all satin chrome hardware all the way down to the strap locks which are also Schaller always love the way satin chrome looks uh, ages really well also for the electronics like I said MEC preamp same pot configuration as the standard thumb bases except I added one extra pot and I basically just unstacked the treble and bass, which is normally a stacked pot on the standard thumb basses. So now I have bass, mid, treble, and then just the master volume with a pickup blend stacked below it. For the pickups, I went with two EMG 45JX soap bar pickups. I've used these pickups in the past for a long time as well. Love the sound, love the tone, and they cut through extremely well, which is really important. And uh, my band scaled the summits uh, live mix setting since we have two guitars. So always really important to be cutting through there. For the inlays, I went with Planet, uh, really large Planet inlays on the standard thumb base, which I've been using. There's no inlays, and on some of the darker stages, I've had visibility issues at times in the past. So wanted something to be unquestionable about what fret I was on. I'm a huge fan of Planets in Space. Always fun with that stuff. So I wanted to go with that. And here on the 12th fret, I have a Sunset inlay just to differentiate from the others. You can kind of see that here. And just for extra bells and whistles, I went with front-facing blue LED lights, which is always a cool thing to look at. It extends from fret 24 all the way down here to the Warwick logo. Speaking of frets, this also has 26 frets, the same as the standard thumb bases. I figure uh, cramming as many frets as possible into a 34 inch scale length would make the frets as small as possible, which is great for my hands since I have shorter fingers and it makes some of these stretches easier. So custom fitted there as well. Same scale length, like I said, as the standard thumb base is 34 inches. And as far as some of the non-visual specs, uh, fretboard radius, neck, feel width, body shape, it's all the exact same as the standard thumb bases, mainly for a practicality reason. Uh, since I'm using a standard thumb base as my backup base now, I wanted to have a spare base that felt exactly the same as my main base and I could be able to close my eyes and feel the bass be exactly the same if I had to grab it during a live show. I've always hating, hated having a spare bass that uh, was a completely different brand, different string spacing, scale length, neck width, and I would have to grab it during a show and pretty much spend the rest of the show having to adjust to a new bass. So that's not always great for the performance. So once again, thinking practically. 
And uh, that about sums it up. So I'll go ahead and play for you a little bit. Check it out. Right number this time, baby. 